It's always good to, how should I say, have understanding. Amen. What the Bible said, with all you're getting, Amen. get understanding. Oh my God. You know, if you don't understand, if it ain't making no, sense to you, go to God and ask for understanding. The Bible says his understanding mm -hmm. is infinite. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. His understanding. So once you get on start understanding from his point of view, the Bible also says good understanding gives faith. Mm. I double dog dare you to go to your boss tomorrow. I said, what's the most important thing going on here that you need the most help? Mm -hmm. And it's central on that. You talk about some favor, can you do it? Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to call you every man in the book. They keep calling you and they keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon they're going to call you boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, okay. let's go over to the 12th chapter of the book of Romans. Because, see, what we're going to do right now, we're going to get desperate. Okay? Right now, can I get some tissues? Can I get some tissues? Right now, we're going to get desperate. There's a reason why that we, we're going to get desperate. But, Pastor, we just had this great victory. And we just, thank you. We just had this great victory. And the Lord moved on our behalf. And I said, how can we, uh, can't we celebrate? Can't we celebrate? And just, you know, we're talking about Pete James Jr. Can we do that? We can do that. Yes. But I'm going to explain to you why we're going to get desperate. As if nothing happened as if we're still in the emergency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As if we're still dealing with the same thing. We're, okay, we got the picture, we appreciate, we thank God. Mm -hmm. We all give him holy glory for what he's done. And the miracles, and, you know, bring it back from the brink of death to life and vibrant and the future. We thank God for that. But that's not the time to start celebrating. You give them, a, you give a time of Thanksgiving, but then you get desperate. You know why? Because I'm gonna give an example. In the Iran Iraq War, back in the '80s when they first started, the Americans in Desert Storm, they went over to Iraq, and they're gonna attack uh, the, the, the the enemy. Okay. Now the Iraqis had all this oil before. They said, oh, glory, we got all this oil, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we can buy anything we want to buy, yeah, yeah. We got the world by, by on a string, you know? Hmm. And if they bother us, all we got to do is cut off their oil. We got, we got this thing. War, war yeah, get, give us a few old Russian tanks. We can buy some Russian tanks, you know. Anybody that fight us, you know, we, we got the money to buy anything we want. But then the war came, Desert Storm came. And all of a sudden, they said the uh, American troops were in the desert, uh, getting, getting ready, getting ready for battle. The, Ra the Iraqis dug in because they knew the terrain better than anyone. They say, don't come in my backyard. I know every hole. I know every foxhole. I know every dust, ball hill. I know everything. And so they sat where they knew they could knock them off as soon as the Americans came over the hill. So they waited all day. They waited into the night. They waited until late at night. They waited till past midnight. And all of a sudden, after midnight, boom, 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 mm -hmm. all these Iraqi tanks mm -hmm. blew up in the flames. Mm -hmm. And they said, what happened, what happened? Well, after the war, they found out that the Americans hit them 60 miles away mm -hmm. because they had infrared night vision. Mm -hmm. And they hit them with pinpoint accuracy. And blow. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to come over the ocean. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so oh how, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh when did that happen? When did that technology come in? Mm. The week before the war? Mm -hmm. Oh, sir. Mm -hmm. That technology came in when they were saying, we got all the oil, and we dance, mm -hmm. and we celebrate. Mm -hmm. And what were they doing in the Pentagon? Let's see, let's, let's, mm -hmm. let's, let's improve yes, this. Yes, yes, let's do yes, this. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Get, get the money for oil. Look, nice. Let's do this. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. And this horn real glass from, mm -hmm. yeah, from West Point said, wait a minute, but we can have a satellite and direct it and stuff mm -hmm. like that. My God. But what were the Iraqis? They were celebrating the oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lord is going to bless this I congregation. Be Naturally, but not beyond your wildest dreams. Yes. The word yes. says so. Mm. Yes. But you know what Thank we're going to do when it comes? Yes. You know what we're going to do when it comes? Sure. We're going to act like we're in a death fight, life and death fight. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. So we're going to get early in the word. 
We're going to be ready. Yes, we're going to be fit to the yes. So when the devil shows up, we hit him 60 miles away. Yes, come on. Come on. Yes, sir. My God. Okay? My God. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, we, we're jumping out of praise God. We did that. Yeah. But now it's time to get back in the mirror. Yes, sir. Because see, Amen. the church by and large over the years has been playing defense. Mm. We wait till something comes and all oh, let's believe God. Oh, let's do this. Oh. Somebody break in your house at 3 o'clock in the morning. He ain't gonna wait for you to get a cup of coffee before you so you can wake up good. <laughs> oh, sir. You're gonna be dead. That's right. <laughs> okay? <laughs> but now, if you got an alarm system out there, and a gun. No. Okay? Mm -hmm. Be careful. Be careful. She wouldn't always pass me. <laughs> <laughs> if you got an alarm system out there, and you open the door, and you got three Rottweilers and, and a pit bull, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. your fight is over. That's right. <laughs> you know, they're gonna pick up what's left and take it to jail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, so you know, Come up but here. but see, but that's that's the thing. We have to be prepared. Yeah. We yeah. have to be on the offensive. Amen. Okay. So and see, it all depends on your understanding. It all depends on how you perceive and how you understand whatever God tells you to do, and however God tells you to always think the way He thinks. Mm -hmm. Make sure, like it says, when all you're getting, you're getting not just your understanding, but you're getting his understanding. Mm -hmm. Look at the book of Romans chapter 12. My God, my God. Romans chapter 12. And look at verse 9. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Even when you evil's being done to you, you cleave into what's good. You're doing yes. what's good and what's right. Do the right thing when the wrong thing is happening. Wow. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love. In honor, preferring one another, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Watch this. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation. It just told you how to get through tribulation. Amen. Mm -hmm. Cleave to that which is good, but it said be patient in tribulation. Mm -hmm. How can you be patient in tribulation? <laughs> what does that word patient mean? Mm -hmm. That word patient means continuing to do the mm -hmm. same thing, no matter what's going on. You're doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. but, but patience just keep on believing God, mm -hmm. and keep on believing God, mm -hmm. and keep on doing the good, keep on doing the right, keep on doing what God told you to do, mm -hmm. continuing in doing good things, getting up early and seeking them. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. You, no matter what's going on, no matter who getting ready to die or who ever had died, you are patient, continuing in tribulation. Okay? Let's look over at the second chapter of the book of Romans. Romans chapter 2. I'm going to show you the strength of this thing here. Romans chapter 2. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus. Romans chapter 2, look at verse 4. It says, O oh, despiseth thou the riches of the goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance. Mm -hmm. Here, look at what he said at the beginning. Oh, despises thou the riches of his goodness? Mm -hmm. Okay, let, let's, let's back up. See, because when you start talking about doing good and being right and doing, we don't understand the power that's released. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I double dog dare you to go back to the 34th chapter of the book of Exodus mm -hmm. when Moses is standing before God and saying, I want to see your face. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. And he said, No man can see my face in me. Mm -hmm. But get in the cleft of the rock. Put my hand over your face and let my glory or my goodness pass by. Wow. And you can see my back parts. Wow. God is good. God is good. He said, if you saw it, it would kill you. <laughs> Dead as a hammer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God is good. You got no clue. So mm -hmm. when you're operating in the goodness of God, mm -hmm. you're operating in something so powerful. 
That's why the fruit of the Spirit, what's one of them? Goodness. Mm. That's it. These are living spiritual forces on the inside of you. The living forces of God on the inside of you. So when you, somebody makes you mad or somebody insults you, somebody push you out the way, you know what they're trying to do? Do you realize what they're trying to do? They are trying to get you to operate on a lower level yes, so your power it. is ineffective. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now something makes sense to you, don't you? Yes. Love your enemies. <laughs> Ooh, Bless them. Come on. 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 We had a lot of practice in your mama. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you know? That's it. But That's can it. I share something with you? Your evil is not as strong as theirs is. That's true. Your retribution is not as strong as theirs is. Mm. But when you begin to do good and you begin to love, you release the power mm. of that commandment mm. again. Mm. And all of a sudden, God steps in their face and you want to make my day. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Okay? Mm. Okay? That's why we got to become experts in this stuff. That's why I said, we're going to get desperate today. <laughs> we're going right. to obey his commandments. Amen. Because his, his commandment, Jesus said, is life everlasting. Amen. Inside of his commandment releases the power of everlasting life. You want me to show that to you right there in the second chapter of the book of Romans? Let's go a little bit further. He says, for after the hardness of infant, infinite heart treasures up thyself, Unto thyself wrath against the day, uh, wrath against the day of wrath, and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who were rendered, uh oh, who were rendered to every man according to his deeds. Amen. They're trying to make you mad, so you do what you they want you to do. So when the time comes for you start head to head of judgment, guess what? Mm. But you can divide the whole thing. Yeah. They do evil, you do good. Mm -hmm. They do wickedness, you do kindness. Mm -hmm. They do ugliness, you do gentleness. Mm -hmm. So then, here's the thing. You get rewarded for all the things you did good as a Christian. When they come against you, you do good, you get rewarded for that. Now you got the double portion. Oh, wow. The only one left of the mess is the devil. Take it. Mm -hmm. Take it. Take it. Okay? Mm -hmm. You live with the double portion. There's power in this stuff. There's power in this stuff. Look, at, look, let's keep going a little bit further. Let's keep going a little bit further. See now, here, here's the thing. You know the big problem is the flesh. Yeah. Because all your life, you've been told you got to look out for number one. Yeah. If you don't look out for number one, who will? <laughs> no, no. You let God look out for number one. Mm -hmm. But can you begin to renew your mind to train your spirit? And that's why praying the Holy Spirit is so important. Mm -hmm. Because you build up, it says, you build yourself up in your most holy faith when you pray the Spirit. You should get work yourself up to get at least an hour a day. If you start with 10 minutes, start with 10 minutes. You go to 15 minutes, go to 10. Pretty soon an hour flat flies so fast you wouldn't know what happened. Because see, what happens when you build up the Spirit in a war, they teach you to break down that gun and put it together blindfolded so you know it. What happened? You're training in your mind, in your memory, in your soul, in your spirit how to do that thing. When you build yourself up in your most holy faith, you know what happens? The word of God begins to be strong in you. And when the emergency comes, that spirit man steps to the forefront. Amen. 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 Now you can see some results. Now you can walk in love. You've been reading early in the morning. That spirit man said, no, bless those that curse you. You need somebody to do good to those that hate you. That spirit man steps up because we're going to make this thing right. Yeah. When you see the results, you're going to always go that way. Right. You see, but can, can I say, oh yeah, we some, but well, you know, the flesh is weak, the flesh is weak. You know what? That's the best news you ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best news you ever heard that the flesh is weak. Why? Because if you build your spirit man up, you can dominate that. Come on. Yeah. 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 Amen. Come on. You can rule and reign in the midst of the circumstances. Exactly. Amen. The spirit man can be in charge. The yeah. flesh is weak is the best news you ever heard. Yeah. Mm. Thank God. 
Amen. Come on now. Amen. But you Amen. got to commit. You got to get desperate. Amen. You got to get up early. Mm -hmm. You got to seek God with your whole heart. You got to feed that, feed that word, feed that word, feed that word until yeah. that mind gets renewed to Hallelujah. only do and think and say and what God said to do, Come think on, and now. say. And that spirit built up will give him the strength to put it in force. Because you can know a whole bunch of stuff about karate and everything else and did somebody jump on you in the street and they'll slap their taste out your mouth because you ain't done nothing but eat lot of pops. <laughs> Amen. You all you did was watch movies and, and sit around and, and let tell your girlfriend what that so and so said, <laughs> you know what, what your boss said, how you don't like what he did, and everything like that. But then the other folks they dig it in the word, but they mm. put it in the heart. But guess what? They pray in the spirit. Now they yes. exercise to do what God said. They don't think it's anything else. Mm. Jesus. The first step is to get your soul full of the word of God yeah. early. The yeah. second step is to build yourself up in your most holy faith. Amen. Praying in the Holy Ghost like the Bible said. Yes. Oh, yeah, now you're getting dangerous. Yeah. That's what it says. The morning, this morning we rejoice, but what a perfect time to get desperate. Yeah. Yeah. Because guess what? We got a victory, but you didn't kill the devil, did you? Mm -hmm. He's a thief and outlaw and a killer. Yes, he is. That's his job. Now, see, what happened is you you slapped him in the mouth. Sure did. He'll cry for a little while. You know? But see, we're going to get so mean and so ugly and so dangerous. We ain't going to just slap him in the mouth. We're going to go chasing him. That's Come right. on now. That's right. Come okay. on now. That's right. And then he, he get, demon, get ready to go over your house. He's going, don't go over there. Don't go over there. You let him sleep. Oh, he's in the You know, we started that mess over there. You know what we got the last time? Uh-huh. 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 But you see, you got to be real strong and dangerous for that kind of Amen. stuff. Yes. So that's why we're getting desperate now. That's why this is a hell of a church. We don't play defense here. We play offense all the time. Okay? You know, when the devil going to fight, he better bring his lunch. <laughs> okay? And we're going to whip him and eat that too. Okay? And send him home hungry. Okay? That's it. That's it. That's it. Because, see, we are constantly moving forward. Watch, watch what he's saying here. It says, uh, who render to every man according to, to his deeds. To them, watch this, who by patient continuance in mm. well-doing. Okay. You're patiently every day getting up consistently, no matter what, reading the word, oh. praying in the spirit. Patient continuance in well-doing. Oh oh God, God. Patient continuance Hallelujah. in well doing. You know what the Bible said in the in the tenth chapter of the book of Proverbs? It said, "The way of the Lord is strength to the upright." My God. Wow, 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 wow. My God. The flesh is weak. We gonna make it a whole lot weaker. That's it. Mm. That's it. Amen. By patient continuance in well doing. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And it says. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright. In other words, when you continue to do it, and you continue to do it, and you continue, you're getting stronger and stronger. It's not just strength then and there. Okay, you can get strength by going to the, to the gym for a week. You can get strength by going to the gym for a month. You can get strength by going to the gym for a year. You can get strength by going five years. But if you get a guy who's been there for a week, and a guy who's been there five years, the guy who been there a week can run. <laughs> we want to be the one that's been in there forever. Because that's where we live. Amen. We live every day that's like it. it's the last that's day we oh, got to fight. It. That's that's it. It. As if we don't win this fight, it's all over. That's, all over that's how you live every yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. You don't live, live as if, oh, the Lord did all this. Because you know what? He's put some things in the power of your hand. <laughs> did you ever think, did you ever think that when a test and a trial comes your way, you know why God allows it? He can stop it. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows he can stop it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you going to let this girl be long. <laughs> that my cousin, he's spitting cuss all day. And then that never happened to him. <laughs> but maybe the Lord is being gracious, knowing it will wipe him out. And he's wow. giving him more opportunity to repent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But y'all be in the church every Sunday. That's right. You got nice pretty hats. <laughs> you got nice pretty shoes. 
Y'all look good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, you know, y'all look good. You know? Okay? I try to behave. Pass it. Oh, she, 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 she egged me on, you know? You know, but, 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 see, we, we look good. But see, we should be doing what the word tells us to do so we're ready when the test comes because God won't allow a test to come unless he knows come you are more right. than equipped to handle it. Amen. Amen. Now, if you get yeah. equipped so bad but you finally crawl out winning, mm -hmm. you know what that should be an indication of? Mm -hmm. I need to spend more time in gym. Mm -hmm. Not, oh God, thank you God. You find, where was you got? I almost didn't make it that time. You know? No, 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 no. You should be, didn't the Bible say we are more than conquerors? Come on, Pastor. How come we don't look like that? Mm. Patient continuance. Mm -hmm. That five year gym membership that mm. never lapses. Mm. 20 years, 50 years, mm. 120 mm. years that don't stay. stay in the gym all the time. Right, 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 right. It don't, it uh, No, we don't, we don't play here. Mm. Mm. We don't go on vacation. When my pastor DeBoy and I go on vacation, mm. we have a nice helping them. We, mm. we enjoying ourselves. Four o'clock in the morning, bling, the light come on. <laughs> <laughs> we don't go on vacation. Oh my God. The physical body goes on vacation. Oh, right. We don't go on vacation. Oh my God. Okay? That's right. Look at here, look at here, look at here, look at here. He says, uh, he says, who to them who by patient continue in well doing seek for what? Glory, honor, immortality, and eternal life. This path has a has a has a destination of ultimate power of yeah. eternal life. When you're doing something good, oh my God. You're working your way up to another level of strength, another level of glory, another level of understanding in God. That don't have a quit. You get you're being brought someplace. People get the most desperate, who who do the most, they win the most victories. They, as a matter of fact, you can get so. I'm going to make some statement here. Y'all got to hear this. Y'all got to hear this. You can get so strong in seeking God, doing good, understanding, reading the word, and praying in the spirit, that when a trou trouble or test come, it's just an incidental incident that just barely gets your attention in the day, and you keep on moving. I'm going to tell you all now, because I remember before I used to pray in the spirit, when I began to learn some of the things I'm telling you all now. Man, things used to hit me. Oh my God, oh God, oh God. But after I've been praying the Holy Spirit for a couple of weeks, a month or whatever, that very same thing would happen. I said, oh wow, that wasn't so bad. I, it made me wonder why it didn't affect me so much. Oh my God, look at that. But I was so dead. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm ready to pray in the Holy Ghost real hard now. Mm -hmm. Every single day. Amen. Because I saw I could accomplish something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? In the middle of those circumstances, in the middle of those situations, in the middle of those circumstances, you can, that's what I try to say, you can birth some of the biggest miracles of your life. My God. Mm -hmm. My God. You can attain some of the highest goal you've ever dreamed about. Amen. Why is that? Why can you do that? Because you're constantly walking in faith. The Bible says, praying, building yourself up in your most holy faith. Uh-oh. You ever read in the, in, in the book of Corinthians? I, I know, I know y'all read your Bible, okay? Because y'all get up early. I know. Okay? Uh, all right. Now, he, said, he says, building yourself up in your most holy faith. The Bible said, praying in the Holy Ghost. Build yourself, build you up in faith. Now, what, what does faith do? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Through faith, we understand. So that faith you're being built up in causes you to come to a point where you understand better. Mm -hmm. You have a situation, you have a so I've been praying the Holy Ghost about some things, and all of a sudden the next day, whoa, that's how that happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm supposed to do that. That's the answer to that thing. And mm -hmm. boy, I go and put it in action, it, 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 it clicks right away. 
or been built up in the Holy, Holy Spirit after praying, and the next day I begin to read the Word, and I get, I, all of a sudden, I'm not really grasping a whole lot that's coming out of the Word, but all of a sudden, this answer comes. That answer comes. Oh, my God. And after about a half an hour, I start really reading what it's saying. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's an answer to some stuff that you never dreamed possible. Amen. Amen. It's some answer. You know what? You can get the answer. Didn't he say when the Holy Spirit come, he will show you things to come? That's mm -hmm. right. That's it. You can get some answers to some stuff that ain't even happened yet. That's mm -hmm. true. You can get an answer to some stuff to that problem that's always showing up. To, you get an answer where it never shows up again. Mm. Come on now. That's how the Holy Spirit works. That's how he always is. But you got to get desperate. Like I said, this is a desperation time. Mm. This is a time where we don't relax. Where we don't celebrate now. All of a sudden we're going to a picnic and then all of a sudden the Bible can't let us. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. The next morning is wartime. The next morning is wartime. Okay. At the very least, pay him back. Okay? Get ready for the next time. Look at what he said. Look at what he said. Look at what he said. He said, but glory, verse 10, honor and peace to every man that works good, to the Jew first and also to the Gentiles, for there is no respect of persons with God. Look at verse 9. Tribulation and anger to every soul of man that doeth evil, to the Jew first and also the Gentile. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that works good. Amen. Glory. Now, now, did you watch now? Watch now. I'm going to lay something on you here. <laughs> I'm going to lay something on you here. I'm going to lay something on you. Did it tell you when to do it? Why can't you do it in the middle of a bad circumstance? Wow. Wow. Why can't you do it when you, oh God, <laughs> why can't you get up and go do it then? He said glory, honor. look at how many things are involved in what he's telling you to do. Look at how many things, that, he says, but glory, honor, and peace. Look at verse 7, to them who are patient continuous in well-doing, seek glory, honor, immortality, and eternal life. Look at verse 10. But glory, honor, peace to every man that worketh good. So you have glory, honor, peace, mm -hmm. glory, eternal life, mm -hmm. immortality. Mm -hmm. And all the, all these forces come to bear on your life when you're doing good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't sit there and take it. Get out and start doing good. Begin to act on what you heard early in the morning, what you read, what you've been praying about. Get out and do it then. All of a sudden, your problems ain't got nowhere to turn. Man, she ain't no, no, nobody to play with. We ain't having no fun here. And if you make up your mind every time something negative happens in your life, you're going to start doing good? Amen. Oh, my God, my God, you're in for a life of strength. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright. Amen. You just found a way out of everything. Hallelujah. It says glory, honor, strength. Glory, honor, yes, strength, immortality. Okay, all of that. Go over to the second chapter of the book of Ecclesiastes. Go over to the second book of uh, second chapter of the book of Ecclesiastes. You gotta see this. You see, in the you didn't know because you're sitting there crying, all the answers are packed, jammed all around you. They were packed everywhere. Because that's what I said in the beginning. Is that God has put so many answers in place and so many things in your hands and given you the authority, given you the power, given you the ability to take care of the situation. How many times in the gospel did he say, your faith has made you whole? Thy faith has made you whole. Get up and rise. Amen. Your faith has saved you, he told the woman. Amen. 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 Who is he that right there sin? Your faith is going peace, daughter. Amen. Don't Amen. listen, don't, don't listen to the people eating chicken salad. Oh. <laughs> Just go about your business. Your faith has made you whole. Amen. Come on now. He has put it in your hands to solve all your problems. They got solved. There were more ways to solve your problems than you got answers. Than you got problems. 
Second Amen. chapter book of, of, of uh, Ecclesiastes. And I said to you that you have the God-given ability in the middle of the circumstance, not only to back those forces off, but to get the answers you need. Look at the 25th chapter, 26th chapter. I'm sorry, 26th verse of chapter 2 in Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 2.26. It says, For God gives... To a man that's what? Good. Good in his sight. Wisdom, knowledge, and joy. He gives to a man that's good in his sight. Wisdom, knowledge, and joy. He gives to a man that's good in his sight. He gives to a man that's good in his sight. Joe, you have a problem. What you gonna do? You gonna do something good. Why? Because God's gonna give you wisdom, knowledge, and joy to get out of it. Amen. Baby, you got the answer. Who can to stop doing something good? He gives you wisdom, knowledge, how to get it done, and then in the end, all you got left is a joke. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on now, but renew that mind to do the right thing when the wrong thing is happening. Yes, yes, yes. Love yes. your enemies. Do good to those. That, and you're going to get wisdom, knowledge, joy, goodness. You're going to get immortality, life, honor, all this other kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, all they're doing is just paying me, giving you a raise. Every time they cash out, all they do, oh, really? I'm going to do something good. You know? You know, I'll buy that car and make them walk. <laughs> no, no, no. But you know, you see, he's already put the answer in there, but it's a matter of, like I had talked to a brother one time. He was saying that, that oh, my God, I never looked at it through those lenses before. Mm -hmm. Look through the lens of the Word of God, what God intended. Now, what, you remember what he said in the beginning? He says, Patient in tribulation. Now you know what he's talking about. Tribulation ain't no problem for y'all. What did Jesus say? In the world you're going to have tribulation. But do what? Be a good For I have overcome the world. And you can overcome it too if you start doing the good. That's all you got to do. Wisdom, knowledge, joy. Immortality, life, glory, honor, all God. that stuff comes to bed. Yes. Then you can start to taste out the devil's mouth. Amen. You got to be kidding me. This is a one-way fight. It says that these, the, 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 the weapons of our warfare are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Good is not just something smile. It's all praise the Lord. It's something good. Mm. No, 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 no. You know it talks about in the book of Timothy. Let's go over to the book of Timothy. Chapter 2. The book of Timothy. Are y'all getting something today? Oh, yes. 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 Patient in yes. tribulation. Yes. Yes. Tribulation ain't no problem for this church. Yes. It ain't no problem for the born again believer. Yes. Hallelujah. God never intended for it to be a problem for you. Yes. Okay? I think it's 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy 2. You got to see this with your eyes. 2 Timothy chapter 2. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, Jesus. In the second tep book, second uh, book is Second Timothy. It makes a bold statement. It makes a bold statement. Uh, look, at, oh, I'm sorry, I said Timothy is Titus, the wrong T, Titus, okay, <laughs> Titus, 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 okay, thank you, and Titus, thank you, okay, let's read Titus chapter 2. Okay? It says, In all things, show yourself a pattern of good works. Uh, Titus 2.7. Titus 2.7. It says, In all things, showing yourself a pattern of good works. You know why this is so important? It's that the way of the Lord is strength to the upright. 
He don't only want you doing it when there's something wrong and when you're having a bad time. Amen. He says you're supposed to be doing a, a pattern all the time. Amen. Pastor the board, I got a pattern. We leave here, we go to the nursing home. Wednesday, I go visit the nursing home. Okay? Every uh, last Saturday of the month, we go volunteer and teach over at the Hoping Home. Every other month, we teach in Jersey. Mm -hmm. Our life is built around a pattern of good works. Mm -hmm. Making sure that the church is always supporting the people in famine. Making sure that people are always being supported in cancer and stuff like that. A pattern of good works. What it's doing is building strength. Amen. And that's why wisdom is always coming. Mm -hmm. You always got a way out of something. You always got an answer to something. Mm -hmm. You see, but, you know, well, y'all, how come y'all doing so much? Because we get desperate all the time. We stay desperate all the time. Mm -hmm. We don't relax. We don't go on vacation. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then pretty soon you have an overflow for other people. Mm -hmm. Okay? Y'all just, just knock them down and keep getting desperate. You sure the Lord bless us beautiful? Yeah, that baby look beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, my you God. know? But you see, you know what this is a result of? Mm -hmm. This is a result of what the Bible calls the shield of faith. My God. Mm -hmm. My God. That quenches ah, the fiery darts. Oh, it, it don't bounce off oh, so the enemy yeah, can yeah, pick it up and use it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quenches. Quenches. You can't get it and use it again. Thank you, Jesus. Come on now. Oh, what it talks oh, about, God. the yoke oh, is broken. Oh, my God. Mm. You oh, can't use it for the darts. The shield quenches the dark, oh, and the yoke is broken. Oh, okay? God. When you're building yourself up and you're seeking God, when you have a pattern of good works and you do the right thing when the wrong thing is happening, you continue always doing good. You're building yourself up. Yeah. Well, you're going to shoot a fire. Are you watch this. You're going to get out of this one. Quench. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, who did that? Mm. Uh huh. There was a seven mm. ways. You, 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 seven ways. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Ways. Amen. And, and you get so strong, you get a, get finished with the with the work. You go out hunting the devil. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Where, where's that guy that's so big, mean, and ugly? Where is that? Let me buy his kids lunch. You know, yeah. yeah where is he at? Let, let me go do something good in that, that, that one that cussed me the other day. Woo. You know, let me, let me go pay for a ride for them home. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But see, you got to get to a point where you don't get to them and give them $10. They say, what's the matter to you? I tried, Lord. No, no. You stay with it. You get up, you start seeking your praying in the spirit, seek your feet in the word. Continue getting to the point where you always do a good thing. Understand it's not a one-time process. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's, a lifestyle. it's not what you do. It's who you are. Amen. Amen. It's who you are. That's it. It's who you are. I'll never forget one day. The Lord just blessed my soul and my spirit. I'm in the store talking to this young couple. And they don't know me from the nobody. And all of a sudden, they say, how you doing? Oh, goodness. Nice day. Yeah, yeah. And they start talking to each other and everything. And they, they happen to talk. And all of a sudden, the, the, the cash is ringing up the order. And the finishing report, I said, that's next step. I never occurred to me. They said, you mm. didn't have to do that. Wow. I was like, no. Mm. <laughs> Y'all just having such a good time. It just felt like mm. wow. a good lesson. You know? Mm. Walked out. And they were, <sighs> and mm. they walked out. When I got ready to get them, thank you, thank you. Mm. And we started this humming this together. Mm. He started smiling to my spirit. And I saw, mm. you know what he said? It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. In other words, he said, that's who you are. He's been exercising in me so long. To God be all the glory. To God be all the honor. To God be all the praise. To God be all the thanksgiving. To have gotten to a point, it's who I have become. Oh, that was sweet to us. That's, and I can use that no matter if they be nice. I tell people all the time, especially public service people, especially waiters and waitresses and cashiers. And I said, how you doing? You having a good day today? Well, we'll see. I said, well, you know what? There's two kinds of people. There are thermometers and the thermostats. A thermometer walks in the room and he adjusts according to what the temperature is. A thermostat says the temperature. I say, you need to be a thermostat. When they nasty, you get nice and kind of warm. When they get ugly, you get even nicer. You got to be a thermostat. So, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Christians need to be thermostats. We're not yeah. thermometers. Right. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. 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 Okay. Did y'all get something today? Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.